Don Jaruzewski. I'm one of the cardiothoracic surgeons at the Mayo Clinic here in Arizona. Donna is a very special patient of mine that had a condition known as atrial fibrillation. Atrial fibrillation is extremely common. Um, there's about more than 50 admissions every day in the hospital and more than $3 billion is spent annually by Medicare just on AFib alone. Unfortunately, in many of these patients, they either don't, don't tolerate medications or this abnormal beating of their heart creates a situation where they're fatigued, they're unable to have endurance to do things that they would like to do, and they feel extremely poor. For some of these patients, we offer a procedure called the maze. Um, the maze used to be a big open procedure, and now we've developed about te techniques We've developed techniques where we can actually go minimally invasive with small incisions on either side. We can get to the back of the heart and we can actually ablate these areas that create the rhythm problems. And um, Donna will give you her, her story and how we've made her life better by fixing this problem. I'm Don Marie Hartley. I've been playing the piano since I was four years old. So that's all I can do here. Anyway, I took piano lessons when I was four. I started playing for Sunday school every week when I was six. I became the church organist and pianist when I was eight. I won all kinds of musical awards. I was the youngest student ever accepted to the Eastman School of Music when I was only a kid. And so I've been very privileged. Then I got to study with one of the best teachers in the world in New York City at Juilliard. And then after that, I studied with two of the best pianists in Paris. I've been very blessed and very privileged. I thought I was pretty healthy, although when I was in high school, my piano teacher told people in front of me that I could play the wrong notes more beautifully than anybody she'd ever heard. And then as I was raising my kids, I realized that I didn't have the strength and stamina that lots of other people have. My friends could go to work all day and then come home and clean the house and do all kinds of things like that. I couldn't even imagine it. Then my father died of atrial fibrillation with a stroke. And so I had an idea that I might have inherited that very same thing. But I, nobody ever caught it until one day my husband was an angel, drove me here and said, you've got to go here. You have to go to the emergency room because you feel so crummy that I can't let you stay at home. So he brought me here, and the doctors were wonderful, and of course they found that I had the very same thing, atrial fibrillation. And, and I didn't really realize what damage it does or how destructive it is, how because you don't get enough oxygen, you really don't have stamina. I didn't realize until after I had the surgery what a big difference there was. And so the cardiologists finally recommended that I was healthy enough to have a surgery called MAZE, M-A-Z-E. -E. And according to the doctor, they burn tissue in an area of the heart that causes long signals. And so it took a long time. It was hard to recover. My body took a long time. But once I did, I thought I was super lady. And I thought I could just do anything. I finally found out that I was just human and normal like everybody else. But it was a big, big change in my life. And even though by then I was playing, I had been playing for years at the Scottsdale Princess resort at the Marquesa restaurant and I'd been playing for Nordstrom. Still, my husband would sit and listen to me practice with tears in his eyes until I got to one spot. And that was in Peace, I Left My Heart in San Francisco, arranged by Roger Williams. And there's a place where it says the little cable cars go swiftly to the stars. I could practice that night and day, and he kept saying, you really have to keep practicing that? Yeah, when I get in public, especially, I can't keep going. And now, after the surgery, it's a piece of cake. So, just to illustrate that, I want to play that. The beginning of San Francisco for you. 
just to show you those runs that go swiftly to the stars, that before the surgery, I could never make it to the top. Blessed I've been by what the doctors have done for my home. 